right, so today we're going to do a video on reconstituting five milliliters of bacteriostatic water into powdered medication. This can apply to a lot of different kinds of meds, but generally things like Trimix, Sermorelin, Ipamorelin, different peptides are going to come as a lipolized powder. And that powder has to be mixed with bacteriostatic water. And they do this so that the shelf life of the product can be extended. So what you're gonna have is you're gonna get two vials, an alcohol pad, and then a syringe. The size of the syringe doesn't really matter. Um, what matters is the amount for reconstitution or mixing, which is what reconstitution means. So today we're gonna use the five ml because this is one of the most common reconstitution amounts for most things like Trimix, Bimix, Super Quad Mix, uh, Sumorelin, Ipamorelin, lots of stuff like that requires that five milliliters of saline be put into the uh, powdered medication. Um, you will also have your bacteriostatic water. Some pharmacies will pre-measure this, so if the medication requires five milliliters of saline, they will make the vial a five milliliter vial. Others will give you a generalized vial that might be much larger, uh, like 10 milliliters of saline or something like that. So for this one, we're gonna use the five milliliter syringe, but if we were provided a 10 milliliter syringe, we would only fill to the five instead of going all the way to the 10. So the supplies they give you should, should work no matter what the concentration is. So step number one is to open up your alcohol pad and you're gonna wipe the top of your bacteriostatic water vial and you're gonna do the same to your powdered medication vial, like that. And then you're gonna draw just one or two milliliters of air into your syringe and remove the cap on your needle. You're going to insert that into the bacteriostatic water syringe, and then you're gonna put that air in, and then you're gonna flip it upside down and release the pressure, and you'll see that it's pushing the liquid right into the syringe for me because this is a vacuum sealed device. So inside here is a vacuum and I put air in it and now it wants to give me back the liquid. So it makes this a little bit, little, little bit easier. Then we're gonna remove our uh, syringe and we're gonna go ahead and purge these air bubbles out of there. So now we've got five milliliters of saline or bacteriostatic water in our syringe. Next, what we're gonna do is we're going to flip this upside down and we're gonna go through the top of the vial of our powdered medication. And we're going to just push five milliliters in and we're gonna let some of those air bubbles out and then we're gonna push again, let some of those air bubbles out. And we're gonna keep doing that until we get all the liquid in there. And it's always gonna to wanna to give us back a little bit of air. You see that, how I push down and then it pushes the air back out. That's just displacement. So now we're gonna get rid of our needles and our bacteriostatic water because this is all done. We now have five milliliters of bacteriostatic water in our powdered medication. We're gonna give it a slight mix very gently. And now our medication is ready for use. Please follow the storage instructions as some of these medications need to be refrigerated after they have been reconstituted. Um, that's it, thank you.